what's going on you guys i'm back at again with another video for today's video i'm going to be explaining to you guys if ishigami village is even possible so today i'm going to be reviewing the genetics in dr stone and explaining to you guys if ishigami village is actually possible now you guys need to watch till the end of the video in order for me to actually tell you that because there's uh, some science i need to cover um in order to explain to you guys why i reached that conclusion you guys have watched my review of Dr. Stone. I've reviewed every single episode, and there was one scene that I was actually unsure of. So I decided to pull out my university notes, do some research, and explain to you guys if Ishigami Village is even possible in real life. Then I went on episode 17 of the anime and confirmed that they really did only have four children. From the six astronauts, we only got four children. Two from Byakuya and Lillian, and one from Connie and Shamil, and then one from the Russians. So now, with only four children to begin with, the odds are not looking good at all. I'm also going to assume that there were there were two boys and two girls. Let's call the boys B1 and B2, and let's call the girls G1 and G2. Now, I'm going to give the anime the benefit of the doubt and assume that Senku's dad and Lillian had two boys, and I'm going to assume that the other couples only had one child, and those children are all girls. It's all good if B1 has a child with G1. It's all good if B2 has a child with G2, but then things get complicated after that because all the kids after that are now cousins. So the offspring of these individuals will be cousins and all generations following that will also be cousins. Now the best example of the situation in the real world is cousin marriages. You guys are not going to believe me when I say this, but majority of marriages in today's world, majority of marriages are cousin marriages. So the biggest reason why this is an issue is because of something called autosomal recessive genes. Now, not all autosomal recessive genes are bad, but there are quite a few that can cause some serious medical conditions such as blindness and hearing loss and genetic diseases that are really bad. So if both people carry an autosomal recessive gene, for example, the mom carries the autosomal recessive gene, and so does the dad, they have a chance of passing it on to their offspring. Therefore, it is very important for populations of this size to have immigration and emigration to prevent these autosomal recessive genes, which could be bad. Well, not all autosomal recessive genes are bad, but if they're if they do carry autosomal recessive genes that are bad, uh, I mean, they have a chance of passing those on to their children. So therefore, it is very important for populations, especially of that size, to have immigration and emigration. What this means is new individuals move into the population and some individuals move out of the population. Uh, this wasn't possible in the Ishigami village or um, as what I know about so far in the anime. Um, genetic mutations in autosomal recessive genes can possibly cancel autosomal recessive genes out, but there's an issue with genetic mutations. You see, the majority or greater than 90, greater than 95% of genetic mutations that actually occur, or even greater than 99% are bad. And, you know, there's only very very few genes that are actually naturally selected by the environment not every single genetic mutation is going to be favored by the environment because genetic mutations are random so the probability of genetic mutations saving them becomes even lower because this started off with only four children and human beings don't have as many offspring as other organisms so the more offspring you have, the higher the probability there is for you to have kids that are born with a genetic mutation that will actually benefit the population. So now that leaves the question, is Ishigami Village even possible? Well, yes, it is possible, but on a very, very 
very small chance, and this chance, as I discussed earlier, is genetic mutations. Now, I'm just going to give the anime the benefit of the doubt and say that all the children that were actually born um, from the first astronauts or the astronauts themselves actually didn't carry any autosomal recessive genes. And the children that were born uh, were born without any bad autosomal recessive genes. And this caused the population to continue and bloom. Or there's also a chance that the population actually ended up getting some immigration from um, individuals that ended up surviving the petrification beam that we don't know of so far in the anime. And these individuals that enter the population um, allowed a much um, allowed much more variety to the genetic pool that they already have, and this saved the genetic um, pool from being. Um, clustered with autosomal recessive genes that will harm individuals in the long run. Now, I'm not saying that every single cousin marriage at the end of the day will result in a child that is um, that has hearing loss, blindness, or other genetic diseases. I'm saying that if you keep doing this on and on and on for 3,700 years, I personally don't believe that, you know, they could avoid all of these problems. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you actually did, and if you want to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, make sure you guys do. And if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like, hit the sub button with post notifications turned on. I'm planning on making another Dr. Dr. Stone video in the future. So make sure you guys stick around for that. And Peace.